Hey everybody, it's Mr. Moki Moki. How's it going? Um, this week we have episode 36, and to be honest, I'm a little bit at a loss for words for what's going on with this episode. Um, it, it seemed like they wanted to drag it out a little bit longer than uh, they should have, to be honest, because it felt like, you know, they could have ended the duel this episode, but I don't know. I don't know. Um, basically, what happens this episode is we get to see more of the duel, um, more banter of Spectre getting into Yusaku's head, uh, which was cool. Uh, I really liked that. Um, but it, it seemed like they were making Spectre to be, like, really OP um, in terms of anime-wise. I'm not sure how it's going to go in the card game or how they're going to design these cards in the card game, but it just seems like Spectre has everything. Um, <laughs> like, so much to the point where it just seemed, like, really daunting. Like, he like he still has, like, a full hand. Like, it seems like Yusaku really can't do anything. Um and to be honest, I, I expected this duel to be a little bit more even, um, considering that I, I felt like with the duel with Spectre and um, Blue Angel, uh, I felt like, you know, Blue Angel probably had to lose because, you know, Spectre's strategy kind of counters hers completely. Um, but even, like, Yusaku really can't even touch him. Um, it, it really even seems like, you know, <laughs> it seems right now that Spectre's like a stronger duelist than Revolver, um, which is, is sad to say. I know we haven't really seen many duels from Revolver, maybe like two, but still, like, it, it seems right now, like, out of two duels that we've had from Spectre, and out of two duels that we had from Revolver, it's like, Revolver's the leader, but Spectre seems like he's the stronger duelist, um, which is really funny to me. Um, it, it makes me think how things would play out if this was a speed duel. Um, but, but even so, um, yeah, I don't know. I don't think we'll be getting, like, an evolution from Yusaku in this duel. Actually, maybe we will, um, but he doesn't, I don't think he's going to be getting, like, a new monster because he doesn't have his skill. Um, if anything, I, I don't know, Firewall Dragon really hasn't made an appearance in this master duel yet. I expect him to, um, but, yeah, I don't know, um. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, but I uh, I feel like if Firewall does come, like it's going to win him the duel, but I don't know. He he had the chance to win the duel, um, and now it makes me feel like they're, they're dragging it out so that he can get Firewall out and win the duel. I don't know. I don't know. Um, to be honest, I thought maybe with Akira showing up that he's caged in and stuff, um, would mean, you know, Yusaku probably will lose this duel and be captured, uh, and then brought to the tower anyway, just to watch everything happen, and then something happens, but, uh, it doesn't seem like they're going that route. Um, as soon as Kusanagi starts typing on his keyboard to try and, like, let Akira free, I assume that's what he's doing, um, I feel like next episode, Kusanagi's gonna free Akira, and then when that happens... Uh, Yusaku is going to be free to let loose, but to be honest, I don't know how Yusaku is going to make a comeback if that's the case, because um, it it seems like he's really pushed back against the wall. Um, no pun intended, but yeah. Uh, another thing is, why does Spectre care if the bridge collapses? Um, maybe he doesn't, but like at the first instance. Um, he the flip bridge was collapsing and then something happens with his son Valan uh to wrap it up and then fix up the bridge um i i assume specter's character wanted to see yusaku suffer um so that's why he fixed it but now the bridge is falling um and it doesn't seem like he's gonna fix it maybe he will next episode maybe he, that's what he's gonna do um, cause it wouldn't really make sense if he fixed it the first time and now he's just going to let it fall this time. Um, but yeah, uh, moving on, uh, a lot of the same, a lot of the same, uh, strategies that Spectre used against Blue Angel is used here. Um, he gets a few newer cards to make it seem like it's even more impossible to beat him. Um, 
but for the most part, it, it's pretty much the same strategy that he was using. So it's nothing really new that we're getting. Um, it just makes Spectre seem really strong that he can just pull out these same combos and like even have a bigger defense and greater um, obstacle to overcome. But I don't know. It's it's interesting. One, one interesting line that Spectre says is like, hey, this is all your fault. You brought these people in here. I'm just trying to save the world. Um, and here you are with your like delusional sense of justice coming in here, bringing people into their your problems. Um, and now look where they ended up. Uh, Blue Angel is data. Emma is data. Um, to be fair, Emma is like, Emma brought herself in there. Um, and then Akira brought himself because he wanted to say Blue Angel, which was your fault. And so kind of starts blaming him. Um, makes Yusaku kind of have like this moment where He's struggling to decide what's going on. Ignis is still trying to push him, being like, no, there's no point in listening to him. Don't worry about other things. Just go and win this duel. And Yusaku actually listens to Spectre and says, I end my turn. Um, which, which you know, is interesting. I like that. Um, really makes Yusaku not seem like he's doing this blindly, like he needs to have like some sort of right and justice in his heart and that's what Spectre says like that's what makes him weak like he's if if you don't do what's right like then this revenge just seems like it'll consume you and everything you will be doing is for nothing and that's what makes you weak and I don't know I like that um it doesn't make me seem like we can really side with Spectre at all um because the the last argument was like, hey, this was my opinion. Everybody has their opinions, and I think that what Revolver's doing is awesome. We went, we went through the same thing, and I liked what happened to me. Um, just because you didn't like what happened to you, what gives you the right to stop this? Which was such an awesome, awesome way of putting things. Um, just makes everything seem so subjective, um, which I think is a very uh, important uh, lesson to learn, especially for children, like they're, what's wrong and what's right, um, isn't necessarily so objective and, you know, it's, it's always shades of gray. Um, and I, I, you know what, and I enjoyed that. Um, for the most part, I feel like Yusaku probably will win this duel. Um, but still, I, I don't know. I don't know how you guys feel about that. I don't know if you guys feel like, you know, oh, now you, now Spectre can lose this duel. Like, does that does that make it better than if Spectre lost against Blue Angel? Um, it's, I don't know. Like, does Spectre getting a second duel um, and then losing, like, make it that more meaningful than if he lost against Blue Angel his first duel? I don't know. Maybe it does. Maybe it adds a little bit more to his character, which I liked. Um, and he's just shitting on Blue Angel, like, for real. He is just going nuts. He's like, oh, somebody told me the same thing before. Like, oh, this strategy would work. No, it won't. I have this card. Oh, you're going to try this strategy. Oh, she tried that too. Uh, let me try this. And then, like, completely shitting on Blue Angel while stopping Playmaker's attacks. Um, such a such an interesting tactic. And I something that I really enjoy is just, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! is not just, like, a game of... Um, oh, playing your cards, it's, the show makes it seem like there's a psychological thing to it, which there is, and it's in the real game as well, doing psychological things, um, like, your actions really, like, portray what, what move and what cards that you have, like, sometimes, you know, just saying something makes your opponent think something else, and think, like, you, you can say something in a duel and make your opponent way more cautious, and stuff like that. There's a like a psychological aspect to it, and I kind of like that's what Spectre's playing at. Um, and yeah, I, I don't know. I just enjoy that. And it's going to be sad, because I feel like Spectre is going to be losing this duel, and I don't know what's going to happen to him. But yeah, um, I feel like we'll get our answer next episode. Let me know how you guys think this is going to end. Um, if you don't think that uh, Spectre is going to lose, if you think that Spectre's going to win, then, um, I mean, I'd be happy with that too. But let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Uh, that's enough from me.
and I will talk to you guys later. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Peace.